Assalamu alaikum YouTubers you are most welcome to SLK Tours in this section we'll be talking about RCC road quantities here RCC stands for reinforced cement concrete we'll do a few examples in the example first we are just asked to calculate concrete steel in some base material at the length of road is taken is 60 feet. We are also informed to ignore any type joints. Here is the section of this road. The base is taken as 9 inch thick, which is about water bound macadam road. And the RCC work at middle is 6 inch and 4 inch at edges. The breadth of sub base is taken as 14 feet and the carriageway is 12 feet. We are also informed to take 1% steel in RCC work. So I think it's quite simple. It's really not challenging to worry about. So I'll just come straight into solution. In the solution, my first approach will be only this guy, which is quantity of sub-base sub material. This is always, look, this is uh, a uniform uh, rectangular prism. I can say length times breadth times thickness or depth must be the quantity of this guy. I can also these guys in short form, which is L means length times breadth times thickness or depth. But here is just a big problem. Look, if I just take this depth or thickness is 9 inch, due to compaction of this base, the 9 inch will just decrease into 4.5 inches, which means half depth or half thickness is gone. So I must need to add half depth or half thickness of this guy. So I'll just add here d over 2 which means half of depth. So just plug and check it in this equation. We can get 16 which is length from the example times 14 which is breadth times 0.75 which is thickness of this sub base is 9 inch plus half of this thickness. So do some mathematics with this guy, you'll just get sub base material in palm up 945 CFT. This was just our first approach. Our next approach is to calculate RCC work. Here this one. Look, the quantity means the volume and the volume is always equal to cross section area times length. Now just look, this guy was straight forward because this is just a rectangular prism, this is a base. But here the RCC work is little different. At 6 inch at middle and 4 inch at edges. What should I do now? You can clearly see these guys are just refusiums. So I'll just calculate for 1. With multiplication of 2, I can get as a whole. So I'll do first calculation for this guy. I'll just draw the shape of this guy. Over here, 6 inch. The breadth is 6 feet because this carriage is 12 feet. And at edge, this is 4 inch. You can also draw this guy in vertical form, which is just like a trapezium. Top and, top and bottom are 4 and 6 respectively. And the height here I have taken is breadth 6 feet. So just look, the RCC work will be the cross section area of this trapezium times road length. Now the cross section area of this trapezium or the area of this trapezium must be the average of top and bottom. 
times height or this breadth times road length I'll call this guy as length L now this is just the calculation for this one side and here you go we have two yes one to this side right side and one to this left side here is just a camber look at this therefore we are just doing all these guys now look if the calculation is for one side and there are two we must multiply this guy with two now I'll just put the video of breadth and length for this guy so the RCC work will be the average of top and bottom times breadth which is this guy 6 feet times length which is 16 times 2 now just uh, calculate this guy using your calculator or your mind you can get RCC work in palm up 300.25 CFT this was just our second approach now we are ready to do some things for our third approach which is steel work how much steel is required for this RCC road let's do the same things for this I'll draw the section again So here our approach was just some base material in this palm and the second approach was RCC work which is 300.25 CFT. Now our third approach is to calculate steel work. So I'll just do steel calculation. Look for steel calculation we are just in palm to take steel as 1% of RCC work. So I'll just say steel calculation equals 1% it means 1 over 100 so uh, therefore uh, because the percent means is always 100 so if in 100 is 1 what will be in RCC work so I'll just put the value of RCC work in this equation I can get steel calculation equals 1 over 100 times 300.25 which is the volume of RCC work this will give me the answer in palm up 3.0025 CFT so the steel is this guy now we have the steel in palm of volume I just need to convert this guy into kgs, quantiles, or tons or any other unit let me just calculate the steel weight the steel weight must be the steel volume times unit weight of steel which means the steel volume is always given this time we have 3.0025 times unit weight which is 490 pounds per CFT if you divide this guy by 2.204 you can get the answer in kgs which is 667.5 kg if you divide this guy by 1000 you can get the answer in tons which is 0 0.667 blah 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 tons so this was our last approach here is the result I hope you are understanding this is just the first example we'll solve example 2 in the next lecture for date just wait see you next time and wassalam